Hello everybody, welcome back to the dev blog. Uh, this is episode 16, and in this episode I'm going to be going over the upgrades I have made to the chests. So you will recall in the last episode, or maybe you won't recall, but either way, in the last episode we uh, started work on these chests, and I was had some ideas of making upgrades so they could be sorted, and I actually had the sorting button there, and uh, we had the ability to rename them as well. But I disliked that you instantly had all of that ability. So I changed it so you don't anymore. So now when you place a chest, you get a chest here. And you have two upgrade slots, which are handily denoted as upgrades here. And uh, we have a little background icon here so you know what item to put in there. This one uh, currently uses dirt, but that will change at some point when I figure out what a good item would be for uh, the sorting upgrade. So paper label, we put it up there, instantly we get our labeling slot, so we can go ahead and type a name, like gold, and we'll hit enter to save that. And you will notice we now have the info text that says gold in the upper left, and when we right click on it, it says gold here. And then if we pull this label out, we lose the, the field there, and we also lose the info text on the chest. And then we put a new label in, it defaults to blank. So that's cool. And then we have the dirt. So let's take a look here. It says gold. Let's put our piece of dirt in here, and this gives us the sorting ability. And you'll notice our name here still says gold. We still have the info text of gold. If we go ahead and I wanted to shift click those in there. Just shift click a bunch of stuff up in here. Like that. And then let's put these out singly and sort. Everything is now sorted in alphabetical order. It combined the stacks. It still says gold here. Info text still says gold. And we can uh, upgrade to just have the sorting ability if we want by putting in the sort upgrade, which again won't stay dirt, but currently that's what I had. Um, I feel like I should point out, I'll have to grab some items though, that the slots will only accept the correct items. So if you try putting sand into either of those, it won't work. Uh, furthermore, if we take some dirt here and try to put dirt on the label slot, it doesn't work. It does let us put it into the upgrade slot, however. Now that can be bypassed um, if we do that or if we do this. Oh, wait, and that still keeps the sorting ability? Ooh, I need to fix that code. Wait a minute, what? Um, that's weird. But I literally just did. Okay, paper label. Take the paper label. Oh, because I'm putting it into inventory and I'm taking out of inventory. I need to, I need to add a field for on inventory move. Okay, well, we may not do that all in video, but. I'll show you what needs to be done. So let's take a look at this code. Now this code uh, had to write some functions, which, dude, I'm telling you, man, it's not a long function. Like, this is actually a really short function. But this took me a long while to figure out the code because it, it was just confusing. And I it didn't want to work. But let's take a look at the function. So we used to have a storage wooden chest form spec function that took a, uh, actually I think it took both of these, the position and the name, and we used that to rename the chest. As a matter of fact, if we look at the chest's code and we take a look at on C fields, a field save, we are actually still running that same function. We're running the position and fields description, which is the field that is put into the save, into that text box. So we're still actually running that exact same function to save the name. But here's what we're doing. We're getting the meta of the item. Then we're looking at the um, existing name to see if it has a name. Because if we didn't fill a name into this value, such as when we click sort, uh, if sort, uh, oh wait, that's actually a different function. Never mind. Where is right here we do a label upgrade oh so if we do an upgrade and it's we're losing the ability to have a name 
there would be no sense in passing a name to it because there's not a name to pass. So we're only passing the position. Then also, if you're clicking something and you're not entering a new name, uh, there's no reason to resend that through. But basically what it does is checks if it has a name already, which when the chest is created, it actually gets a name of nothing. Let me find it here. Unconstruct. Nope, nope, nope. Um, uh, form spec. It's a form spec. You no, know, it actually doesn't send info text. Well, that's weird. I would have thought it would have. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, but it checks if there's an existing info text. There might be a mistake in this code. But it ran, so I guess not. I don't know. Anyways, it checks what the info text is. And then if there is an info text, it reuses that. Um, if there's not a name that's passed to the variable. That way we have something to put here. Otherwise, if you tried pa running this function without passing a name, it would crash because name wouldn't equal anything or it would, if it didn't crash, it would just delete whatever the name was you put in that field in your info text. So then I uh, created two locals, one that's for the code for the label for the form spec, one for the sort button. So these are just two variables I can call here. And then I created a base variable, which is all of the form spec code except these. And then uh, we call meta again, which I don't know why I'm doing that because I actually already did that right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of that code because I don't need to call it twice. <clears throat> and then we check the upgrade tier. Now this, a lot of this is actually in the code for the chest, which we'll look at. But basically I added a string to the meta of the node called upgrade and it stores a numerical value. Meta is always stored as strings, so we have to run the two number function to convert it to a number. And then I just check if upgrade tier is zero, then the local form spec equals base. So we just see this if there's no upgrades. And then we return the form spec. If we have an upgrade of level one, uh, we do the base and the sort. So we add this button in. If upgrade to level two, then we have the base and the label. And if upgrade is three, that means we have upgrade one and two both combined because we're adding. <clears throat> so then we show all three of them and we return the forms back. So that's all this function does. I'm going to go ahead and save that because I don't need to call me. I'm checking made it twice. And also the new changes to the code here. So I added a lot of metadata inventory put and we're just checking our sort upgrade slot and then checking if it's ground dirt or items label. And if it's those, we'll return. Uh, this code doesn't really make sense. We return one. But actually, we return everything but one. We keep one in the slot. Um, and otherwise, we keep nothing in the slot. And then we do the same for this one. And then otherwise, we return 99. Which basically is for every other slot, we let you put in a stack of 99 items. So if you somehow had a stack of more than 99 items, i.e. you used give me 100 items, it would actually put one item back into your inventory and only let you put a stack of 99 in the chest. <clears throat> on metadata inventory puts, this is where we actually do the magic, per se. So, if the inventory was put into the sort upgrade, we'll check what name it is. If it's ground dirt, and you see here my comments needs changing to something more suitable. Uh, we check the upgrade value, which again we're pulling the numerical value of the string from the upgrade, which on creation is set to zero, as you see right there. So it exists as zero. If we put dirt in, we add one, and then we set the um, upgrade value to the new value. And then we run the function for the form spec, which checks the value that we just set to see which elements of the form spec to display. And then the same thing here with the label. We get the upgrade value. So say we put our piece of dirt in there. Upgrade now equals one. We put the label in. We pull the value from upgrade value, which is one. We add two to it, save that, which is three. We run this function. It says, okay, it's a value of three. I need to display all portions of the form spec. It's pretty simple. And then uh, on metadata inventory take, we're doing the exact same thing, but we're just subtracting. So we subtract one and we subtract two. If we take out the label, we subtract two. If we add a label, we add two. If we add dirt, we add one. If we take dirt out, we just subtract one. So that keeps our value um, pretty much sane and 
updates the other portions as necessary. Now, um, I'm gonna have to pull up a web browser here. Okay, so I've got a web browser open just so I can see the necessary bit of code here. And I did not want to do it there. It should have been here. Okay, so I'm going to add this in after unmetadata inventory puts and unmetadata inventory take. We're going to add a new one, which is on metadata inventory move equals function and many of the same variables. We have a position um, from list, from index, to list, to index, count, and player. Uh, I don't know what the what those are. Position obviously is the node. From list, from index, to list, to index. It's got to be the we have the list name and index on these. Um, the the from is going to be the slot that you're taking the item from, and the to is going to be the slot that you're putting the item to. So I think we want to uh, from list from index to list to index um, count for how many and player for player's name. So we could technically record a violation if the player shouldn't have permission to do it. Um, so then uh, we would have to uh, get the meta right away. So local, yeah, yeah, we have to do that. Local meta equals my test get underscore meta from the position of that node. And then we're going to do um, oh, I don't have a list name. Great. So I have to do um, if from list equals equals sort upgrade, then if See, I have a stack get name, but I don't have a stack here. I have from list and from index. List name, index, and stack. Well, how do I know? Hmm. Interesting. I can't do stack get name because there is no stack. If we're taking it from sort upgrade or wait does that matter i don't think it does because the only thing we're allowed to put into sort upgrade right the only thing that we're allowed to put in there from inventory anyways from our inventory not from the chest inventory is the right item so we want to unjust disconnect the upgrade if we take it out of the inventory slot and then put it into our chest because I think let's let's do a little play test here what if okay so I have an upgrade I still have an upgrade and I still have the upgrade so I could use one label and label all my chest I don't want that ability now if somebody goes ahead and puts snow into there you know I don't care as long as they lose the upgrade when they take the upgrade out and put it into inventory, that's all I'm really worried about. If you want to use those two slots as two inventory slots to store one item in each, I mean, go for it, man. More power to you. But uh, I personally feel like that's probably pretty stupid. So, um, yeah, we have a sort upgrade. So we're just going to go ahead and copy all of this code right here. And we're going to go ahead and paste it there. So if we're taking it from sort upgrade, the upgrade value we're getting, we're going to subtract one because it's the sorting upgrade is the value one we take away. All right. I think fingers crossed this should work. 
And I'll just do it for the sorting upgrade right now. And we'll try out the uh, the label upgrade later. All right. It lets me put it in there, but it doesn't do anything. That's good. Let's put a piece of dirt in. Whoa, wait, wait, what? Oh. Now I'm, now I broke things. Yep. I got an invalid. <clears throat> hmm. I got an invalid value on my upgrade. Probably negative one. Okay, well, let's, let's go ahead and do, um, else if, and you know what, I should probably be doing that right here. It's better code. That way it only checks once. Else if from list equals label upgrade. Then, um, we just copy all this. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I had to go answer the telephone. Evidently, nobody else is home. So I think where we were at was uh, just copying that, changing that to two. Um, and that's it, right? If from list is label upgrade. All right. Oh, I don't have my desktop. Let's launch it up and let's try a different chest because that chest is going to be broken. Let's take the dirt and put it into here. We lose the sword option. That's good. We get it. Good. Lose it. Good. I don't get it back though. Oh, I know why we don't get it back. Duh. Okay, so in much the same way, I need to change... Um, I think I need to copy this and have, uh, cause if we're putting it from inventory into that slot, you know, the chest inventory into the upgrade slot, we need to check for that and then add that value. So I think what I want to do is do if to list equals sort upgrade oh that should have been in quotes ah this is gonna give me a problem though because now I need to know what item they're moving how do I know that if to list sort upgrade then and we would well I need to put another if clause in if statement if isn't really a statement conditional I need to put an if conditional in if value then body Oh, sweet. That's pretty cool. I didn't know Adam did that. Okay, so my body is going to be sort upgrade. So we want to copy that. And then we're going to do that. And then we will do... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We do an end for that. And then we do else if to list equals um, label upgrade. Then, and then we need to do another if conditional. Um, and I just need to figure out what that value is, which I'll do off camera because I have no idea. And then we would uh, throw this code here in. where we say the upgrade value, we're reading that. Oh, we should probably be adding to and adding. Oh, wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, let's not backspace the number and put the same number. Let's change the, the mathematic operator. Okay. Oh, and we can get rid of that setting info text to nothing because we're not setting the info text to nothing. In fact, oh, yeah, we're not setting the info text at all. Never mind. We can leave that alone. I think. Yeah, we should be able to. It wouldn't. Nothing changed on it. Okay, so let's let's put our next end in here. 
I don't even think this would run if I tried because value is not a valid thing. From index? I don't know what index is. All right, well, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to try to figure this off. Out, off the, 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 going to try to figure this out off camera. And then uh, I'll be right back. I really wish I would have looked at the time before I paused the video. Because I feel like it's been a very long time. And unfortunately, there's no... There's nothing you can see in the video here to tell what time it is. But... Wow, was this a major pain in the butt. But fingers crossed everything will work now, so let's try it out. That mess is all chests I can't dig because they have inventory in them. But you can't... Oh, wait. Why did... That's weird. That must be one random one that wasn't messed up. But yeah, the rest of these I broke and they don't have valid form specs anymore. But here's a nice new one. Unfortunately, shift click does not work to pull those out. I will probably fix that later, but let's take a look here. Okay, I cannot put the wrong items in. That's good. You can put the paper in the upgrade there, the dirt in that upgrade. Good. If I pull them out of there and put them into my inventory, I lose them. The upgrades, that is. I get them back. The upgrades again. If I try to use that sneaky cheat method of putting an item on top of the stacks to swap them out. Oh, no, I thought I was done with these bugs. Okay, let's see what the problem is here. Upgrade value th 1, upgrade value 3, upgrade value 2, upgrade value 0. I don't know if that bug is relevant, though. I don't know. Oh, wait, you know what? Never mind. This isn't even running. Just try this one more time. Put a chest out, put a paper label there, upgrade value of four. Okay, so something is still not quite working. Um, on metadata inventory put, I think is where my problem is now. Okay, so we're checking to make sure it's the right label or the right item in here. No, oh, man, let me just explain what I did. So, and then I'll fix this. Um, we had on metadata inventory put and take, those are already there, and then we just added the on metadata inventory move, which has all of these adding and subtracting values. Okay, good. And I put a whole bunch of print statements in here, which I could actually get rid of, but I'll do that off camera. And then I found out, okay, well that's great, it works, but I can move something from the inventory of the chest into the upgrade slots and it doesn't have to be the right item. So I had to add an allow metadata inventory move, which is very similar to the allow metadata inventory put. But when it's put, it's only going from one inventory to another. Move is from one inventory to the same inventory, which doesn't really make sense because they're different, uh, they're different inventories, but it's for the same node. Like there's the main, but there's also the, uh, two upgrade inventories. But whatever the case, I had to do an on metadata inventory move because it's staying within the same chest, I guess is the best way to explain it. I don't think, yeah, I still don't have the wiki page up for it. Um, so I had to create a whole allow, where, where did it go? Um, allow metadata inventory move, which, okay, you wouldn't think it's too difficult. We have the from list and the from index to list to index which is the same as we had with the on metadata inventory move. Okay. So we have the local meta, then we get the inventory. Then we get the stack, which it turns out you can get the stack because it's not passed through in the function by getting the from list and the from index. So it's the number of the slot in the index, and then it gives you the stack. So then with the stack, we can now get stack name. So if inventory is empty, sort upgrade, because we have the inventory from the meta, from the position. So we can check our list. Um, or we can check the inventory, rather. And we two list is already passed to it. So we know where the material is going to. I don't care where it's coming from. But if it's going to the sort upgrade, I want to check, first off, 
is store upgrade empty? Because if there's already something there, I shouldn't allow anything more to be put in. And then we also check the name. Is the stack's name ground dirt? If it is, we return one, else we return zero and kick the item back. Um, zero actually just means it's not allowed, basically. And then we do the same thing with the label upgrade. We check if the inventory is empty and if the stack is items labeled. And if it's empty and it's the right item, we let it in. So we need to do the same for on metadata inventory put. If stack get name equals ground dirt. But I was checking the inventories first. I don't think it really makes any difference which you check first, but we are going to go ahead and do if inventory is empty, sort upgrade and stack get name equals ground dirt. However, I do not have an inventory set up for this one yet. So I, whoa, that's coolness. That's called eye candy. Okay, so we have local meta. So now we need to do local inventory, which is what INV stands for, equals meta get inventory. All right, so now we have an inventory. So if inventory is empty, sort upgrade and stack get name ground dirt, then we will let it work. So we're going to do the same thing if inventory is empty, except we're going to have label upgrade because we're dealing with the label upgrade slot now, not the sort upgrade. And we want to get rid of this if and change that to an and. You do not use a second if statement. You're saying if this value and this value are positive, then go on to this next step. Let's save it. Let's hope this fixes this once and for all. So chest, put some dirt in the chest. Okay, that looks right. Put some dirts there. I can sort. Okay, that's good. Let's try. It let me put a second one in and it gave me sorting. Why? Inventory was not empty. Hmm. Now it's giving me both. And if I take this out, it'll still give me sorting, which it shouldn't. Fortunately, I can uh, dig that chest and not end up with another chest that I can't remove. Oh, I didn't know I could remove that one. Okay, so why is this not working? We were putting, right? If inventory is empty, sort upgrade. Oh, because I'm an idiot. I'm a complete idiot. Ugh. It shouldn't be on meditated. <laughs> it's supposed to be on the allow. Oh, man. Okay, I'm just going to undo all that. Yeah, we don't need to know the inventory for that. Okay, let's let's redo a few steps because I undid too far. Control Shift Z. Control Shift Z. I wish it would go to where I'm doing something because I really don't know what I'm doing here. I feel like I just made the text bigger. I did. Interesting. Okay. On metadata inventory put. If stack name equals ground dirt. Okay. I think I think we're good now. So let's go ahead. Local inventory equals meta get inventory. Okay. And then if oh, I don't remember how to do this. Um, if inv is underscore underscore empty. And then we need to know which one we're looking at, which we're looking at the sort upgrade and stack ground name dirt. <sighs> okay, let's hope we got this right this time. Now let's just go ahead and do this one real quick. Inventory is empty, that just bugs me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a space right there and then we want label upgrade. And stack get name item stack then okay fingers crossed i don't know which one of these is launched from the terminal and which isn't but i don't think it really matters everything should work this time let me um 
pull the window up so we can actually see the, the bar on the bottom. Okay, let's try to put a chest in. Doesn't work. Good. Let's put a paper label in. We get one paper label. We only get one paper label. Sweet sauce. I think this is finally fixed to the point where it can't be broken. Oh, I feel so accomplished. Okay, so, um, yeah. You got to do a lot of stuff to make things work, right? Dude, I didn't think I was going to have to do so many. So, uh, an idea I had, and I'm not sure how I necessarily feel about this idea, is to add another upgrade slot to the chests to make them lockable. Which, now that I have a function and I kind of know what I'm doing, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is any player could put a lock on a chest, even if they don't own it. So you could find somebody's chest if you happened to spawn anywhere near somebody else's base. And you could lock their chest and pretty much just steal all their stuff because they wouldn't be able to access it. So I don't know. I could make it so the lock can only be placed if you're the owner. And then it makes it a locked chest. That's possible. Um, but I kind of feel like it's more realistic if anybody can put a lock on it. But then I'm worried that someone's going to be locking somebody else's chests. I also want a way that you can share the access to it, which I think I would do by using a password. So I'd, it would be like a combination lock and I don't know, four digits or something. I probably wouldn't mean, yeah, I would, I would definitely mean for oh, someone's going to type like a whole paragraph in there for their password, which would be stupid. So I limited to four characters. Um, I could even limit it to alphanumeric. I think I can do that with Lua g string substring whatever it is i don't know um i think it's possible and then you could share the your four digit code with other players so they could access the chest too but then of course they could take your padlock off which in real life if you kill told somebody the combination share padlock they can't take it off whatever it's locked in and not put it back so i guess that wouldn't be too um too unrealistic but I don't know, I'm still kind of debating on whether or not I want to allow that or not. But yeah, that is the upgrades to the chest. Um, once this video is edited, it actually shouldn't be too bad. But thanks for watching. Sub game is on GitHub. And it's probably far advanced beyond this point. But definitely, if you want to have some fun, download it and play it. Make sure you're playing creative, though, because there are I don't think there's any craft recipes yet. So, yeah, you have to be creative in order to get anything. But there's a lot of cool stuff so far. And uh, if you have any ideas, feel, feel free to leave them in the comments or as an issue on GitHub. And, uh, you know, collaboration. Yay. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.